YouTube, what's up? Riz here back with some more NFL mock drafts doing team by team seven round mocks. This video is covering the Green Bay Packers. Let's get into this first mock. First round, Tredavious White, corner from LSU. Guy that's on the rise, late first round talent. Will be tried at outside corner, but may be a slot, which is very important in today's NFL. Played most of his snaps in college at slot, but an excellent corner. Um, second round, Raquan McMillan, linebacker from Ohio State. May go earlier in this, but if he drops to here, the, he, not only the Packers will pass on him, could use an inside linebacker pretty, pretty badly. Uh, third round, Wayne Gallman, running back Clemson. They can use another running back. I think Wayne Gallman would look, be very good in Green Bay and would be a solid third round pick. Fourth round, Jaleel Johnson, D lineman from Iowa, would be a solid fit. They can use him. One point was considered second or third round. Falls just a little bit because of the other talent on the D-line. Fifth round, jo Josh Carraway from TCU, edge rusher. Uh, I think would play linebacker for the Packers, outside linebacker for the Packers rather than DN, which he could play both. Fifth round, Brian Allen, Allen corner from Utah. They can already have him taking a corner. They can use another one. Uh, like I said, Tredavious White might be a slot corner, which would, he would be a pretty damn good slot corner. But Brian Allen is for sure an outside corner. Um, that could be a solid guy that contributes early on in his career for a fifth rounder. Sixth round, I am adding to the offensive line depth, Chad Wheeler from USC. Some people have them taking offensive linemen earlier. Um, they always have they always have guys at offensive line, they, and somehow they make random guys good, and they drafted like a guy like Jason Springs in the past who's going to be good, and they can work with him. So I think they'll be fine no matter what. They can definitely use another guy in the draft somewhere. But, again, I think they'll be fine. In the seventh round, I am taking Hardy Nickerson, adding to the linebacker depth, which they need, I believe. Second mock, first round, Draw Davis, linebacker from Florida. Now, I thought this was weird that I haven't really seen a mock with them taking Draw Davis. Now, I think they can use an inside linebacker, which they have two inside linebackers. They play with two. I think they can use one pretty bad, and Draw Davis is a really good inside linebacker. So I was kind of surprised that I haven't seen a mock taking him I think that's definitely a uh, realistic pick they can definitely use him and then second round I've been taking a Kello Witherspoon cornerback from Colorado now you hear me say about different guys that I really like this guy sound like John Gruden or these this guy is one of my favorite players in the draft now Kello Witherspoon may be my favorite guy in the draft 6'3 corner led the nation in past deflections I think I think he should be a late first rounder that's why he's one of my favorite players. He's definitely a sleeper, and he has all the tools. Really, one thing he needs to work on is tackling. It's not terrible, but he, he needs to work on it a little bit. Um, I know teams consider concerned about his weight and stuff. I'm not really concerned about it. Um, compares to Kevin King, another corner just like him who's getting some late first-round talk all of a sudden. So really like him. Third round, Dalvin Thomason, D-line from Alabama. Uh, can play multiple positions on the D-line. They definitely can use a guy like that. Fourth round, Carroll Phillips, edge rusher from Illinois. He could possibly go in the third round, kind of back and forth. Where is he going to go, third third or fourth? Uh, can play D-end or outside linebacker. I think he plays outside linebacker for the Packers, and I think he's a, turned into a sleeper, very good player. Fifth round, Jamal Williams, running back from BYU. Uh, they lost their bigger running back, Eddie Lacy. That's a hard runner. Jamal Williams is a hard runner. Would be an excellent pick. He plows on and off the field. Other fifth round, Jordan Morgan, the small school offensive lineman, Coostown. I can see the, this is a Packers guy. P small school guy with a ton of potential. I, I just see him on the Packers. I see him playing early on in his career, end up being good. Would be an excellent fifth round pick. Could He's getting some buzz lately. Could go a little earlier. Sixth round, Fish Smithson, safety from Kansas. Sleeper guy, excellent coverage, excellent playmaker. Uh, tackling is pretty poor. That's why he drops to the six. But his coverage skills are probably like a th round three, maybe round probably round four. Talent. Seventh round, Ezra Robinson, small school corner. That will probably play the slot. Had him taking a color Witherspoon, who is definitely an outside corner, 6'3". Uh, Robinson is more of that slot corner, so maybe one of each would be good. They definitely need cornerback depth. And that'll do it for two seven-round mocks for the Green Bay Packers. We're almost through all teams. A couple more picks here in the first round. Then we got three teams that do not have first-round picks to get through. And then we will have 
all kinds of NFL coverage videos leading up to the draft, whether it's news, predictions, stuff like that. So stay tuned. Please like and subscribe. Goodbye.